Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Breaking the Cycle. My name is Tracy. I am a licensed therapist in long-term recovery, and Breaking the Cycle is where I share my experiences and tips to help you build a happy and successful life after addiction. How are you doing today? I hope everybody is having a good day. Mine's going pretty decent so far. I just got done working. Just going to film this video real quick before I have to go pick up the kids from daycare. Um, if you hear a little background noise, my nine-year-old is gaming in his room, and I think he's blasting like some Katy Perry right now. So sorry about that. So today's video is five surprising things that you cannot have in jail. Now, if you've been to jail before, probably not super surprising to you, but if you haven't or you're new to that kind of life, this might be a little surprising for you. Additionally, let me remind you that there is a difference between jail and prison. I have been to both and prison is kind of more lenient than jail, which is you wouldn't expect that. But, you know, when you're in prison, you're typically in prison for a longer period of time. So they, they do allow you a little more amenities in prison than you get in county jail. So what I'm going to be talking about today is county jail. And I will also remind you that every state, every jail, every county does things a little bit differently. So I am sharing from my personal experiences. Really quick before we get started, I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being here. If you would like to check me out on any other platforms, I do have Instagram and Facebook. I do post daily journal prompts in the stories on Instagram and also action steps in the post. Those are action steps to help you rebuild your life after addiction and maintain your mental health. Okay, so let's do it. Five surprising things that you cannot have in jail. Number one on the list is pencils or pens, but pencils I found especially intriguing because, you know, you always see people pen palling with inmates, right? You know that people in jail can write letters to people. So how do they do that if they don't have a pencil? Well, in our county jail, they basically remove anything that could possibly be used as a weapon. So a pencil can be sharp. It could be used to stab somebody. So in our county jail, we got rubber pencils. I had never used a rubber pencil before I went to jail. Um, they are very flimsy and bendy, and the lead on them is not sharp at all. They're actually very, very hard to write with. The writing is like thick and dull and terrible. They're terrible to write with. You will do anything for a pen or a real pencil when you're using those rubber pencils. Now, number two, you may have seen this one coming because if we can't have a pencil because it can be used as a weapon, you definitely can't have a fork, right? So number two is silverware. You do not get any knives, forks, or spoons in county jail. So what do you eat your meals with? the infamous spork. Now, in our county jail, we were all given one orange spork. Of course, they had to make it orange. Like, we need every reminder that we can that we're in jail. They got to make it a jail-colored spork. But we got one spork, and we had to wash it and reuse it three times a day. And it was a plastic spork, obviously. So anytime I go to like KFC or Taco Bell now and they give me a spork, it brings back traumatic memories. So what do you do if you need to cut up your food? How do you do that with a spork? You don't. You, you can try and make do or find something else that will cut. You have to definitely be very creative and very inventive in jail because your, your resources are extremely limited. But people will. People have come up with some really amazing MacGyver type resources in jail, let me tell you. Okay, so number three is liquid soap. So take a minute. And think about how often in your life you use liquid soap. You use it when you wash your hands. You use it when you wash your dishes, when you wash your clothes, when you take a shower. I mean, really think for a minute how hard your life would be without any liquid soap. 
No, in county jail, what they give you is one small hygiene kit. Thank you, Bob Barker. That hygiene kit comes with the Bob Barker bars of soap. They're these little bars of soap. So that is what you have is that bar of soap to wash your hands, to wash your body, to wash your dishes, and to wash your laundry. Now, luckily, in county jail, there were some geniuses in there who figured out how to make a liquid soap from that bar soap. They would get a old shampoo bottle that was empty, put the break up the bar soap in there real fine, and then put water in there, and I forget what else they did to make it exactly, but when the soap came out of that bottle, oh my god, I always called it semen soap because that is what it looked like. That was the exact texture of what would come out of that bottle. I was like, can you pass the semen soap, please? Because I need to do my laundry. So we did make liquid soap in there, um, semen soap, but it was not provided for us. Number four, underwire bras. Now, for those of you with, you know, the big, big titty committees, that might really be a problem because you're not getting a lot of support in there. Now, for me, that was never really too much of a problem. So that was very lucky for me. So they actually let me keep my original bra that I came in with in county jail, but they cut the underwire out first. Or if you happen to come in without a bra, they they will give you one, but it's like, um, I'll try to, I'll try to find a picture of one to pop up here. It is like a I don't even know how to describe it, a total grandma bra, like just one of those cloth, like two triangle with some, maybe some generic lace around it. And there's no support from it. There's no support whatsoever. That That's the type of bra that they give you in jail. I also used the same bra. I wore the same bra every single day throughout my whole entire jail sentence. Luckily, we had the semen soap so that I could do laundry and wash it. (laughs) Otherwise, that would be super gross. Number five, pillows. Now, I don't think that I had pillows in jail or in prison. What we have in jail are mats. You get a jail mat, which is like a blue or a green thin mat. At the edge of the mat, it's raised up on the end, and that's your pillow. That's your pillow is the the raised portion on the end of that mat. You don't have a separate pillow. You have that mat. You have one little tiny scratchy wool blanket, and that is it. There's there's no getting cozy in there for you. And I'm going to add a bonus one, but this one is just for women, okay? So number six, six tampons. We were not ever given tampons in county jail. For any dudes or or whatever, you, you can just shut it off now if this is TMI. But when it was that time of the month in county jail, what the jail gives you is humongous giant diaper pads. And they only give you a very limited amount of those. That's probably why they give them to you so big so that you can wear them forever super gross. Now again, luckily, people become very inventive and they're very adaptable when their resources are limited. So there is actually ways to make tampons from these big giant diaper pads. Not very pleasant tampons, I will tell you that, but tampons. So that gives you a brief little picture of what county jail is like. No pillows, no underwire bras, no pencils, no tampons just sporks and semen soap. And that's all you got. You make do with what you've got. I mean, there's even ways to create makeup in there when they give you zero makeup whatsoever. You use magazines and Vaseline to make lip gloss. It's really pretty amazing. I'll have to do another video on that sometime, how to create makeup with a magazine and Vaseline. (laughs) I just didn't wear makeup most of the time. Now, in prison, you can have makeup, but in county jail, none. No makeup whatsoever. So, you're looking rough at those visits, let me tell you. Okay, so what do you think? Was this surprising to you guys at all, or was this pretty much what you expected from jail? Or if you've been to jail, is this the same way that your jail was? Did your jail give you any of these things that ours did not? 
And, you know, maybe things have changed by then. I mean, heck, now in jail, they give you, like, phones where you can text people, chirps, and iPads where you can, like, watch movies and things like that. We never had any of that back in the day when I was going in and out. So, I don't know. Maybe they give you tampons now. But back then, it was rough. Let me tell you, it was rough. So, if you get locked up nowadays, consider yourself lucky. But maybe just... Let's not get locked up at all. That, that would probably be the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was interesting for you. And I will see you in my next one.